Today on Yoda Spirit, I want to go over this Emart 2000 watt photography light studio kit. It's an 8.5 by 10 feet background drop, and it's supposed to come with um, three muslin backdrops, two umbrellas with some lights and stuff, so, and also black, white, and green colored backdrops. As you can see here, this should be all the stuff it comes with. And make it out I'll show you all everything here eventually in person just get a gif of what this looks like and without further ado let's take a look at this thing you can get this thing on Amazon for an average of about hundred and forty dollars so it's not too bad basically the uh, a lightsaber might cost a tad bit more than what this would cost. I don't know if you can see it from there. Here's got the box. It comes with this huge thing. This whole box, I would say, weighs nearly 200 pounds. So it's really heavy. Not Maybe not 200, but maybe 150. It is definitely heavy, though. It's pretty heavy duty. This is a zipper pouch. Let's see what this has in it. So as you see, I do plan on making my videos a little better for you. I'm working on it. You can see it has all this fancy looking stuff here. It looks like your umbrellas and your lights. It's going to be your light kit here. So we want to be very careful with this, not to break it. I will be showing you as I go along through this video, different parts of it, finished, set up. I won't, um, I don't have the technology yet, or I, sh I do, but the camera has a really bad footage, so I can't really do my, um, which caught time warp footage putting it together for you but I will jump to clips of me finishing the parts and showing you the finished product here goes the white the black and the old famous green your color there you go, we can see there. We got my those back black or back drops. This one here I'll probably be using the most. And then this one here, probably be using without graphics, as well as the white one, depending on the situation. And you can see here, we got all the clips we need. Comes with six of them. And last but not least, another to-go little packet here, carrying case. And this looks like it comes in three different parts. And from what I can feel, this feels like the actual setup for the framework, which it is indeed the framework that which you'll be using to put together your background. Whew, this is gonna be a project for me here. But I look forward to it. This is gonna be pretty fun. So stay tuned and I'll get with I'll start by showing you the backdrop. And probably you'll next time you'll see me, this right here will probably be gone. I might still have Maybe some side stuff if that's still showing in the footage, but we'll see. Right. I got some of this stuff hooked up. Majority of it, anyways. Must just show you. It does come with a Emart quality and service satisfaction. Any problems, you can call customer service at any time. It does have a warranty, 30 day money back for any reason and five year warranty against manufacturing issues and we have 
In this box, it will be the cords you'll use for this style of lighting. I don't want to blind you, but this right here, as you can see, this cord right here will be completely separate from the stand. Show you what it looks like real quick. You can see the light bulb would go in this part, and then you screw this part here onto the stand, and then the little metal rod with the umbrella would connect into this hole. Every stand will be in this box right here. They're, they're all the same. There's four of them. And there's two umbrellas. They'll be each in this little top package. They're just like a regular umbrella you would use outside. Um, you just take the little metal piece and push it up until it snaps in place. And then you, the ending result, you get this look right here. Just like a normal umbrella connected to the stand and then the hollow I'm not sure what kind of bobs they are I don't even look at the details on those but the bobs will come in a package like this nicely protected so best to keep them that way you know mess with them as little as possible for you I'm going to show you see it the bob is in there the bob they use is very nice it's like uh, ventilated as you can see it has the vent uh, slots in there that's the style of bulb it is has a little fan up there but yeah it's um, a really bright bulb as you can see very careful put this thing back do not want to touch the actual bulb itself with your fingerprints and you do not want to touch the bulb against any of the um, um, material that's going to be around the bulb even though it's going to be close to it you don't want to touch it because it will, the bulb will eventually get very hot so it is a warning placed on the thing um, I did not use both of these but however I did realize that the setup on this is slightly different than I was expecting uh, I did want to show you this real quick is, um, there's two of these little packs inside of this pack you will get this entire setup be without the stand of course this setup over here the pack will include a cover that velcros on into a aluminum looking I guess uh, umbrella style thing <laughs> that you would also use this one here faces you with just a white cover you can see it's just basic and this one right here is the umbrella where it's basically facing you with just the umbrella two different styles two different brightnesses this right here is basically if you're just directing it towards you and it's not going to reflect any light towards the background this one right here is mostly look like it's going to have some towards you but mostly hitting the background to add, add the extra lighting so it just depends on the scenario you're going to be using it in I don't think you would be using it all four unless you're you know, doing pictures or some kind of photography but for my situation if I use all four it would I think brighten this room up very bright a little too bright but I, um, I won't find out until I check the video out myself <laughs> Until then, I do have this set up, this set up. I did want to mention these right here, the style. As you can see, here, it's supposed to go down and then underneath you. But um, the actual length of one of these is probably going to be only this wide. So it's not really that wide. It's just meant to go just behind the person but it goes down and then underneath you as you can see here I'll give you the uh, exact dimensions each one is 6 foot by 10 foot so it's going to be 6 feet or uh, 10 feet long by just 6 feet uh, wide so just my body length basically 
I'll try to open one up for you. Give you somewhat of an idea of what I'm talking about. Let me do the white one. Most likely the color I would use next. Because I had to put it basically sideways in order for it to stretch this far apart. As you can see here, I'm not sure if you can see the bottom. But the bottom doesn't go all the way down. And it goes basically this is the, almost just about the top. It's probably had this much overfold on it. And same with the sides, probably have about this much extra overfold. And it's just about as far as I can go. If there's an extra pole, I couldn't put the I couldn't put all the poles on because I think that's what this design's for. And so you can actually take the colors and slide them over to so give all the colors side by side on one pole. I is I'm not particularly trying to do that. You can see here this would be the top because it has the little sliding uh, hole area where you would slide the material through and you see right here that's as far as it goes if I were to just hang it this way and then have it go underneath me like it's designed but then as you can see on my camera it has all this extra stuff that I would be showing before that I'm trying to get rid of so my, my thing is do I keep the green here and then do a black one here and then the white sheet here that's what I'm trying to decide but I don't have you know I would have to hang you know, the white sheet and black sheet but overall green the green screen would be the main thing I would have to either put the camera here in front of me and move it closer or just you know mess around until I figured that out overall this is a pretty good setup I definitely recommend it for hundred and forty dollars I mean you can't beat it I mean, all the material itself seems like it cost about that, you know, with the bulbs and everything. But until next time, uh, feel free to subscribe and everything, and hopefully I'll get this you know, effects and everything working for you. Let's get it all set up and looking nice. Until next time, subscribe and may the force be with you.